Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? Hello, hello. Hi. Hey, hello, Fabiola. How are you doing today, Miss? I'm good. I'm still working, but I'm still working. Yes, I am. Oh my goodness, my goodness. Uh, but at uh, this time you have like the time for for dinner. You have a break, or you administer your time to to be active in the class. Yes, I I can receive the class and be active. All right, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I remember yesterday was your day off, right? Yes. All right. Ah, oh, no, no, no. I remember. I remember you mentioned that it's Sunday and Monday, right? Yes. Okay. Very good. Perfect. I remember some information, right? Some, but not everything. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. All right, and welcome to your class. It's nice to yeah. see more people, you know, getting online. So how are you doing, Mr. Alexander? Hello, mister. How is everything? Good evening, teacher. Hey, hey, hey. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm ready, ready for the class. Ready for class. How was your day? I'm good. I'm good in my work. Really? Yes, yes. All right, all right. Was it a relaxing day, or a busy or not so busy day? How was it for you? What do you say, más o menos? Uh, you say so-so. Or you can say it was kind kind of. It was kind of busy. It was kind of busy. Of kind of busy? Uh-huh, yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I... I... Uh, I have a kind, kind of busy. busy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right, all right. I understand. Thank you. Thank you so much. And welcome to your class. I have more people getting online and that's amazing. Let's go quickly over attendance if you like, and then we can move to more conversation, more content, and some uh some really nice practices that we have for today. Let's begin on attendance and let me check on this one. Let's see how that goes. First person in the list, that is Alejandra Guadalupe, but I believe you cannot speak at this moment, right? Because I, I see, I saw your text message. So thank you so much for the effort to be here. Then I have Alexander Armando. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Miss Brenda Yvette Sandoval. Brenda Yvette, probably not yet. Let's continue. Carlos Fernando. Carlos Fernando Gaitan. Not yet. Uh, Miss Celia de la Cruz Miranda. Celia de la Cruz, not yet. I believe there is a text message from here. Let me see. The Nilsson Vladimir Paz. All right, no problem. I continue. Miss Erika Mercedes. Present Santos. teacher. Oh, thank you, Mr. Nilsson. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Then I have Miss Erika Mercedes Santos. Yet, let's continue. Stephanie Fabiola Guevara. Present. All right, thank you, thank you. Then Estrella Dulcinea Aparicio. I'm here, teacher. Hey, thank you so much, miss. Thank you. Gabriel Stephanie Reyes. It's Gabriel Stephanie, not yet, I believe. So Jacqueline Noemi Ramos, I believe uh, she's... Uh, busy at this moment, so not, not, not possible to talk, but I remember that. So thank you so much, Miss, for your confirmation. And thank you for your confirmation over the chat. Then I have Javier Alexander Mancilla. Present teacher. All right, thank you so much. Javier, then I have Jose Alonso Lizano. Jose Alonso Lizano, not yet. Then Miss Karina Jasmine Navarrete. 
Bien, Lizeta Abigail Portillo. Lizeta Abigail Portillo. Not yet. Luis Antonio Alas. Luis Antonio Alas. Not yet. Eh, Miss Mariela Elizabeth Serrano. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Mayra Lizeth Barahona. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Miss. Thank you, thank you. Medardo Rigoberto Luna. Here, Mister. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Then I have Osmaro Aníbal Rodríguez. <coughs> Mr. Osmaro Aníbal Rodríguez. Not yet. Eh, Rosa Emilia Enríquez. Rosa Emilia. Right, no problem. Stephanie Michelle Aguilar. Present. All right, thank you. Then Victor Eduardo Ramirez. I'm here, teacher. All right, amazing people. Thank you so much for joining and welcome all of you to your English class. Take a look at this one. We get started on today and let's see, we continue working on the intermediate number one level, right? And take a look at this one. What happens? Take a look at this. What what class do we have? Class number eleven. Eleven? <laughs> like no oh, wait, no eleven. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I was like checking. Like, did I put eleven on this one? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was possible. It was possible. All right, class number nineteen. Exactly. Thank you so much. Question, people. After today, how many classes are we missing? Five six, classes. Six. Six, six. Class. six. Mm -hmm. six, exactly. Right? Because we're missing 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Right. Six class, six more classes, and we are finished with the level. So congratulations in advance. Thank you so much for joining on time. Thank you so much for staying the complete session. Remember that is going to be useful for you, and that's the benefit because you have the full practice on this one, right? You practice and you continue learning. And also talking about attendance, that guarantees that you get the complete time for connection and you, you know, complete the, the goal at the end of the, the attendance so you can continue on the courses. So congratulations on that and let's keep on working hard. Please, please, please. Now, Let's do something. We're going to have a quick review on some information. And for this, let's get started on the first practice. Let me socialize this information to you. And we get started. Let me see. I am going to share a link over the chats, you know, the two chats we have. And I need your collaboration to access to this information let me get the code so i can transfer this to you <clears throat> let me see i will uh get the message over the chat in the individual conference and also as customary no. um over the chat in this part let me get it at this moment All right, the, ch the link is over there in the chat. So if possible, I need your help to access to this info and just wait there because I will give you the chance to work on this one. So please, first activity, get into the link, please. Thank you.
Thank you, thank you for the people who join. I have four people at this moment. I am waiting for more. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you for more people connecting. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. More people, thank you so much. Remember, access to the link, please, please, please. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Let's see, let's get started at this moment with uh, seven people, and if you have the chance to incorporate later on, you are welcome for the practice. Let's see, we have a quick review over the vocabulary at this point. So please see the vocabulary word and choose the correct alternative. That's what we're working on. The vocabulary is a review from yesterday's reading, so I believe you are familiar with this. Let's get started. Check your answers on your device. We begin. Thank you so much. One, keep it up, keep it up, thank you. Good job, let's continue. Thank you. 
Thank you. so much people for your answers Good job, thank you. Right, about to finish. Thank you. All right, two people already finished and the rest on the way to do so so people thank you so much try to mark your answers and then we have the feedback for this practice thank you so much thank you thank you all right let's work on this information i appreciate everybody's effort so quick let's go quickly over this feedback thank you so much uh Let's see. I need everybody's collaboration to check on this one. People, when we talk about surveillance, what is surveillance? Can you read the, the, the answer for this one, people? What is it? To be you loved. Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And from these alternatives, which is the one? No, number three. Number three. Number three. The act, uh -huh. the act of washing someone close to detect a crime. Exactly, right? That's fine. Thank you. Let's let me just get it a little bit bigger on this one so it's easier for you to check. All right. Thank you. That's correct. You mentioned the correct alternative and definition for this one. People, what's behavior? The way someone acts. The way some, someone acts. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you so much. What about this action? Uh, reassure. What is it? <clears throat> what is reassure, people? And to remove someone's doubt and uh -huh. fears. There you are. Thank you so much. That's fine. Uh, to remove someone's doubts and fears. Exactly. So that means you feel secure on this one. Thank you. Thank you so much. What about on theft? What's theft? Theft. The action uh -huh. or cry of killing. There you are. Exactly. The action of crime of stealing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. What about uh, when we say something spooky? What? What's spooky, people? 
that cause someone something that cause fear or nervous. There we are. Thank you so much. Just double check on this one. Nervousness. 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 Exactly. That is the state that you are in, right? Nervousness. Right. Thank you. What about on the word tip? What is what is tip? To give a small amount of money amount. to someone who has to provide a service. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That's correct. That is the the amount of money you give for a service. And people, what is the meaning of wage? What's what's wage? The amount of money paid to an employee. Exactly. Thank you so much. Right. The um, the amount of money paid to an employee. Exactly. Thank you so much. Seven words, and that was the practice to review this information. Let's get on the leaderboard for this practice. Congratulations to uh, all of you. You did very nice on this one. By the way, who is letter A in the practice? It like Alejandra, probably, right? But in uh, you are three people are in the in the first place so it's this person this user letter a then i have emilia congratulations miss and estrella good job as well thank you so much thank you thank you nicely done people now after reviewing that vocabulary let's see let's have some quick speaking practice let's work on question number one can we read together people how how does your, How your company deal with thief? theft? Theft, right? With theft, with the crime of stealing. How does your company deal with that one? From two different perspectives. If there is an employee or if there is a customer, right? How does your company deal with that? And let me give the chance for people to participate. And I would love to listen first to... Hey. Mr. Javier, hello, hello. Hmm, probably not available yet. Miss Mayra, go ahead. Um in my company we have a security company or mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. security and when when we have a, a this situation uh, the first person to to looking or to watch yeah is the, the, the security man All and right. then he report, reported mm -hmm. at the office of the human resource and then we interview the this person okay. to investigate in, uh, about the the situation. All right, thank you so much. That that's pretty much the information. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Let me have other people uh, talking about this one. Mister Medardo, hello, Mister. Are you ready for practice, Medardo? Medardo, hello, hello. Probably not yet, so let's give the chance for more people to participate. What about you, Estrella? Hello. Uh, in this case, uh, the company um, they they have uh, the security mm -hmm. and. Uh, they have surveillance in the mm -hmm. with with cameras in in audios. Mm -hmm. Um. Sometimes, uh, when happen that maybe if uh, if uh, the customer, mm -hmm. uh, uh, they maybe um. 
no sé, deal sería, ¿verdad? Deal, como tratar, deal. Exactly, that's correct, ah, deal. Okay. Mm -hmm. eh, they deal uh, en algo así como que tratan de que sea algo cerrado, que no sea muy público. Uh, all right, you can say they try, in this case, they try ah. to keep it secret or discreet. They try to keep it discreet. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, discreet. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for that. Let me have more people to participate in for that one. Next question. Let's read together, people. Please, what work? What work practice art? Spooky. Are spooky, right? But I want mm -hmm. to listen to many of you. I just li I am listening only few, and I love listening to you. I really I really want time, and then you practice. What work practices are spooky? Everybody, let's read. What what, what work practices, practices are, are spooky? spooky. Are... Right. Remember, spooky to make you feel nervous, uncomfortable, or with fear. That is the context, all right? Let me have some people participate. Miss Fabiola, what can you tell us? I think a practice that is common is to, to check on the personal of employees, like the security guy checking mm -hmm. on the uh, bags and and clothes. Mm -hmm. All right. That is that's All right. Bastivo? How do you say that? Yeah, In base, like invasive. Mm -hmm. Too invasive, but I understand the reason why. For me, it, that is invasive. It is right. It sounds like that, but when you listen to stories of people doing bad things, you it's yeah. like wow. <laughs> you understand. <laughs> you understand the reason. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mrs. Stephanie. What can you tell us about question number two? Um... I don't have a lot of experience to talk, but for me, it's spooky when I have a want to walk with my boss because mm -hmm. I most of the time I feel like it's that like the things that you do well, but after they start speaking to the things that make the one to one, that is probably <laughs> something that you do the mistake or something. So for me, that is something spooking uh -huh. because my boss didn't tell me, just uh, send me the, me the meeting and uh -huh. I just like it. Uh, if you want to talk, I do something uh -huh. that, that could be. That could be exactly right. It generates like the feeling of nervousness. Like uh, as I talk to my boss in, in, in my work, and every time we receive a text message, you know, people don't text you to say, hi, how are you doing, right? Yeah. For <laughs> it's because something happened probably, all right? But I get your point, thank you. Final question on this one, people, and let's, re I read it one time for you, and then I need your collaboration. Listen to this. What disadvantages could surveillance have? Everybody, let's read one, two, and three. What, what is surveillance? Uh, surveillance. 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 Yeah, there we are. Thank you so much. Now, uh, let me have some people participate in this one. You know, negative points of surveillance. Let me have, let me see. Let me choose some people. Mr. Victor, are you ready uh, to participate? Yes, teacher. Uh, okay, I'm thinking when we are employing. Mm -hmm. Ah, maybe, maybe I feel very uncomfortable when mm -hmm. when I feel or when I 
see the camera. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's a possibility. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Let me see on more people. What about on Miss Emilia Enriquez? What can you tell us? Miss Emilia Enriquez. Hello, hello. Probably not ready yet. Mr. Medardo, I need your collaboration, mister. What about on question number three? What negative points, what disadvantages could surveillance have? For example, yeah, the employees have more stress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. They, they feel spooky. All right. It could be possible. All right. Thank you so much, Medardo, for your collaboration to this one. It might be possible. Thank you so much. All right. In general terms, good job, people. Something nice using vocabulary and using the structure. That was just part of review and an introduction for what is coming. Take a look at your screen. What unit are we starting today? Number four. Unit number four. And do you happen to know the name of this unit? What is it? If you have your books, take a look. What could be the name of this unit? Or take a look at the picture and try to imagine what that could be. What is happening in the picture? Let's work on that way. Don't look at the book at this moment. Wait, wait, wait. What is going on in the picture? What can you understand from this? Let me have I think some. They are uh -huh. in a meeting. In a meeting. In a meeting. A meeting. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Uh, all right. They probably they are planning something. Planning something. Thank you so much, Fabiola. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. No problem. Uh, acceptable, right? They could be in the meeting. They could be planning something. That's okay. Brainstorming. Uh, exactly. Brainstorming. That's a good point, Medardo. Thank you. It's possible and applicable for the picture. Thank you so much. Now, coming back to this info, what's the name of this unit? Take a look at the, uh, at the topic over there. Personal training. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. People, question for you. Uh, how often do you have trainings in your work? Let me have some people participate. Mayra, what about you? How often do you have trainings at work? In my, in my case, um, I have training all week. Because I am, um, well, in my activity, mm -hmm. I have the responsible to introduce the new employee at the company. Right. And what else? But training, training, mm -hmm. <sighs> only when we have a, a a new topic to to reinforce the the, the mm. skill. All right, all right. Are you working in human resources, Mayra? Yes. Okay, all right. In what company? I'm sorry to be nosy, but where do you work? I'm working in Grupo Merlet. All right. But Grupo mm -hmm. Merlet has three division three companies oh, three uh, companies or three companies uh-huh oh interesting and i work in a specific at lenceria ah all Excellent. right all right i mm -hmm. was going to tell you that i i was going to send my resume but i don't think i i can apply for it for any position <laughs> it's interesting because yes we, we have a uh the 
de social, la razón social. Ah, uh, sorry. We, how do you say el, eh, nuestra razón empresarial? Uh, that's a good, in, that's a good question. I don't know how to say that one. I don't know if that is literal. Say it like but, that and then I look on that one. But in our, in our company, we have the, the um, Superate College, no, or Superate School. Uh, yeah, it could be. Uh -huh. uh, Superate. And we uh, interview the, the teachers uh, to the, to what? To uh, introduce at, the, at this Superate. Oh, oh, interesting. All right. So I prepare my resume, teacher Gonzalo, and give it to Mayra. Thank you so much. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Okay. I understand. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you on that one. Let me have more people participate on this one. What about on, let me see, Mr. Eden Nielsen. Are you ready for practice, Mr. Eden Nielsen. Hello. Hello. Probably not yet. Miss Karina, what about you? Not yet ready. So let's give it a chance for Daisy. Hey, Daisy, nice to see you. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I have an a internet issue. My goodness, what's the uh, problem? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's a sign now. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> but uh, thank you for having me. I didn't. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much for the effort. Thank you so much. All right. For trying hard on getting online. Thank you so much. You know, many people report if they are having some issues with, with the connection. Yes, it's the, the same problem. Yeah, it's, it's possible. It's possible. But, but thank you so much just for you know, for joining and continue doing the effort to be here. Because sometimes you think, ah, I have internet problems, I go to sleep. No, 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 no. but thank you so much for being here. I appreciate <laughs> that. Now, we're practicing on a question or we're getting info. Miss Daisy, how often do you have trainings at your work? And this moment is uh, once of the of the week uh, because have a, a new program in the in the let me see for uh, for my work. Mm -hmm. Um, I uh, I don't know uh, the word robotica. Robotics. 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 Is yeah. Mm -hmm. It's for a robotic in this moment, and the platform name is T Box. T Box, uh huh, uh huh. Mm -hmm. And in this moment, um, have uh, um, let me see, two weeks mm -hmm. for 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 this uh, platform, mm -hmm. and it's specific for my my. Area for the the, the preschool, mm -hmm. and uh, the the idea is the the boys and girls practice their the robotics mm -hmm. and using the 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 computer uh, for for different um I don't know um for Pets in robotic uh, have, for example, for the cat mm -hmm. and the uh, or or bee, and use a um I don't know a programmer programming mm -hmm. programming this this insect for the move uh, for the left for the right depends mm -hmm. of the or uh, of the uh. Learn this and this and this class. No, and the other, and the, the training for the books and mm -hmm. and the see new platform. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Thank you. Thank you so much. I understand. All right. 
for many people, it could be it could be common to have trainings. For some other people, probably not so much, right? But today we get an introduction about personal training. And for this one, we have a conversation practice. And take a look at this one. Where can we find this conversation, people? Take a look at the reference. 33. Exactly. On page 33. If you have your books, you know where to find it. And if not, don't worry. Take a look at the screen because the information is here. Uh, I will read one time the conversation just to model this one one time. I need your collaboration to pay attention for pronunciation. Also to pay attention on the intonation of questions and everything. So you get an idea how to work on this and then you have the chance to participate. Let's read on this one. Listen to me. Uh, the dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a service training for next month and one, and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. All right, that's the conversation about. Let me read it one more time. Try to see where the pauses are. And then we work on this one as a group. In the meantime, when I read, try to uh, check on new words for you. And, then, and we can also work on vocabulary. One last time, listen to this. The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for next month and other four cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay, that was the second time on this one. Before we move to the individual practice, Tell me, is there anything that I can help you with on pronunciation in this part? Or vocabulary as well? Questions, questions, hello, hello. Teacher, the word hiding. Yeah, no problem. I am going to select many words and then uh, I will work on this one, right? So at this moment I collect and then I explain. Is there any other expression people that I can help you with? From, from Moira. All right, thank you so much. Knowledge. Yep. Let me see. And this one is here. No. It's skills. The previous one in this one, skills? Yes. Okay, no problem. I get it. Is there any other? Schedule. Yes, sure. I can help you on that one. Okay. Thank you. Is there any other word that I can help you with? If not, let's begin so I can help you on this one and then we move to the practice, individual practice. Check on this information. I know many of you uh, 
are very good on vocabulary. So let's see how well we can work on this one. Do you know the meaning of higher people? What is the meaning of higher? Mm, it's like the person that work in human resources. Uh -huh. I hire employees for mm -hmm. their position, like to the company, like a cashier, an mm -hmm. account, or mm -hmm. whatever position that they they will hire. Like they give you a job like that. Ex exactly, exactly. Thank you, thank you. In easy terms, it's like to give the job to the person in simple words, right? So you you go for interviews. Stephanie goes for interviews to select the candidates and everything, uh, as I remember. But at the end, the company makes a decision to say, yes, you are the correct person, so you work for me. I give you the job. That action is hired, right? To give the job to a person. In this case, the, as in the conversation, the dishwasher I hired a month ago, so the, the person gave the, the job as, the, as a dishwasher to this person, right? That is the meaning of hire. Uh, is it clear about hire and this one, people? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Thank you. All right, no problem. Question on this one. How long ago were you hired in your job? Let's put it into practice quickly. Check on the question that I have here in number one, just as an extra practice. Le I read it one time and then you practice after me. How long ago were you hired in your job? Everybody, how? How long ago, how long ago were you hired in your job? I was high. The answer, and then you see the time. For example, for me, I was hired six years ago so they gave me my job ooh, six years ago so what about you miss Mayra how long uh, uh, the question in this one how long ago were you hired in your job in my position yeah mm -hmm. I was hired I was hired for Two months. Two months. Oh. Two months ago. Two no, months no, ago. no, 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 no. eight months ago. Uh -huh. All right. Eight. eight. All right. Eight months ago. All right. Hey, that's that's very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. What about on some more people? What about on? Let me see. Miss Brenda, hello, Brenda. Are you ready for practice? Yes, teacher. Thank you. The question that we're practicing, how long ago were you hired in your in your job? Um, for seven years. Oh, that's a long time, seven years. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much. Hey, how is the training about your new position? I remember you, you mentioned something about that. <laughs> yes. Uh... Are you the boss now? <laughs> mm, almost. No. Nah, no, you say almost. Right? You say, mm. <laughs> um, how do you say? Uh, parecido a jefe. Um, you, you can say uh, almost, almost, almost the boss or almost the manager. Mm, almost the manager, but... Mm, is um like an assistant, a manager assistant, something like that? No. Um the position is um PPO analyst is about uh, some activities mm -hmm. from um, different ar areas or um and some sometimes I check the activity for other person and I evaluate mm -hmm. the uh, their actions 
and sometimes I supervise the 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 people. All right. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. The good part is that you have free access to Coca-Cola, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. All right. Thank you so much. All right. You see, the word higher in context, right? In this case, we are expressing how long ago we received the job, right? Or you can say, ah, or, or, or if you work in human resources, or if you are the responsible for that in your company, say, hey, I hired uh, this person for this position, right? I hired him two years ago, right? In case you are the responsible for the selection process and to give the chance for people to work in your company, right? They were hired. The next one, promoted. Do you know the meaning of promoted people? Brenda. Brenda, exactly. Brenda is the example of promoted to have a better position in your job. All right. That is that is to be promoted or to get promoted. Right. Let me see. In this one, I have a question for you. Have you ever been promoted at your job? Right. Have you ever been offered a new position? Let's practice together, right? We practice some questions to put everything in context. Number one, we'll practice a question. Repeat after me. Have you ever been promoted at your job? Have, have, you, have you ever been promoted at your job? job? All right. And tell me, what about your experience, people? Have you ever uh, been promoted to have a better position in your company? Has it happened to you? Comments, comments? Or are you still in the same position? That is possible and, and there is no problem. Let's see. I know I know some people want to participate. Miss Fabiola, what can you tell us? Um yes, I have been promoting from uh, from the system to supervisor. Amazing. That, that's really nice. And congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you so much. What about on you, Luis Antonio? Have you ever been promoted? No, teacher. <laughs> not yet. No, you say not, not yet. yet. Not yet. All right. Not no yet. problem. Right? No, that's okay. That's okay. Let me have more people. What about you, Javier? Mm, no, not yet. All right, this, all right. Mm -hmm. No, but in the the last um job, yeah, I have opportunity promoted three and three times. Wow, amazing! That that's really nice. Were you the boss at the end? Almost. Uh, yes, uh, the the quality the quality area. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You. I appreciate your collaboration of that one. So you get the idea to be promoted. The next one, it's a probably common word. What is the meaning of a schedule, people? Schedule. Schedule. Like calendar. It could be like a calendar, uh huh? Related. Chronogram. Mm -hmm. Organize. Organize. Work time. It could be. It could be right. It could be about uh, an organization. Let's see, but not organization like like a company, but it's uh. Let's say an arrangement. Let's say an arrangement. Arrangement or specific, let's see, specific activities with time and date, right? That's why uh, there is a schedule, right? In a school, on Monday, I have mathematics and then I have physical education, science. 
on Tuesday, I have history, I have literature. So you see, you there is one activity at a specific time and day or date that is scheduled. That is like, uh, it could be like a piece of paper, like a calendar or, or something like that. But as an action, schedule, in this case, it is a verb as an action, right? In this context, it's like to organize, orga, let's see, organize, to organize in this one, or to uh, to set probably right to set to arrange uh, an activity. All right, to organize or to set or to arrange an activity. I want to schedule a server training. The person is planning for a day and for a time to perform or to do the training. That's what the person is, is explaining. I want to schedule, I want to organize a training for next month, right? In this context, schedule is an action, as you see on this one. Is it clear about the word schedule as an action in this point? Schedule, yes. hello, hello, yeah? Yes. Clear like water, I believe. Then we have skills. Skills, what is other word to say a skill or something see, uh, uh, or a synonym of skills? Abilities. Abilities. Exactly, right? It's about what you can do, right? It is related to that one. Skills, abilities, something that you can do, right? The person says, let's identify their skills, something that they are good at and something they already possess. What about the other word about knowledge? What is knowledge? <laughs> it's easier in Spanish, right? It's easier, but don't, but don't don't say it in Spanish. When you learn in, at the university or the uh -huh. at the school, uh -huh. so is the knowledge? Mm -hmm. No. It's related to that one. Yeah, it's related to this one. If you talk about knowledge, you uh, make reference to what you what you know. Right? For example, at this moment, you have knowledge. You, you have knowledge in English, right? Because you know about something. So that's, the, that's what the person is explaining. They want to know what abilities they have and what they know. So they later they can organize a training that is very specific to help knowledge what you know at this point, right? It could be academical or something that you already something uh, that you uh, is already on your mind. Let's say, right? That's the idea of knowledge. Hmm? Now, after checking vocabulary on this one, let's work on the next exercise, which is on pronunciation at this point. Let me see. At this moment, we have how many people participate in this conversation, guys? Two. Two, Two people. All right. What are their names? Alex, Alex. and Rick. Alex and Rick. Exactly. Thank you so much. Let's go on the practice. And I give number one on this one. I'll give number two at this point. I have number three. And I have four participations in total at this moment, all right? So I give the chance for people to participate and to do you know, a, a nice job as you always do. If you want to participate in the pronunciation practice, remember, raise your hand, I see your names, and then I give you the chance and we work together on this one. Let me see. All right, thank you so much, Alexander, for your confirmation over the chat. I know many people are having issues with the connection. I don't know what's going on, right? But I'm so sorry for that. But thank you, everyone, for doing the effort to be here and to join to the class. Now, let's see. Let me give the numbers. Mayra, you are number one. Miss Estrella, you are number two. Brenda, you are number three. 
And I give number four for Stephanie. All right. Ladies, you start and we'll listen to you. Thank you so much. Okay. The dishwasher, I hear. Uh, perdón, otra vez. Yeah, yeah, no problem. No problem. <laughs> Porrón y cuenta <laughs> nueva. Démosle. <laughs> the dishwasher, I hired a month ago once to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customer complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the service after the training. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you on that. Now, feedback for everyone, you know, and I give the chance for more people to participate. Let's check on some information. Let's see on this one. Remember to check as, as a general comment. Remember to check on information for uh, pronunciation of the uh, verbs, regular verb ending. Please, let's check on that one. For example, let's see this one, the final ED. Um, this one as well, it's very nice to practice. This one as well, let's see. And from that one, I believe the rest was, was very nice. Let me help you on some information on this. In pronunciation, quickly, let's see. This one is a D pronunciation. The other one is T pronunciation, like this one. The other as this is like this. Complain. All right, take a look at this one. I repeat the verbs in the past and then I say it one time, you practice after me. Let's go on this one. Hired, hired. Everyone? Hired. 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 Thank you so much. Let's go on the next part Hired. now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's amazing. Now, take a look at this one. Higher the month ago. Higher the month ago. It's like you say higher the, right? Because you make a combination of the final sound and the next one. I hired the month ago. I hired the month ago. Practice after me, please. Higher the month ago. Everybody. Higher a month ago. Higher the. Higher the. Higher the month ago. Higher the month a month ago. Exactly, right? You don't stop. You don't stop, right? Higher the, higher the month ago, right? It's a combination, but if you listen, the pronunciation is there. If you only say higher a, uh -uh, present. Higher a, mm -mm. higher the, higher the, simple past. Higher the month ago, right? The sound is over there. The next one is with T. So repeat after me. Asked. 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 Right? Asked. 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 Right? Thank you. Now let's practice this, the expression. He asked me. He asked me. He asked me. He asked, he asked me. He asked me. He asked me. Thank you. <clears throat> let's practice on the other one. Final D. Complained. 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 Everyone, again, please complain. 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 Now, let's practice the complete expression. Listen to this one. Complained about. Complained about. Everybody? Complained, complained about. about. Okay. Complained exactly. About. 
exactly. You don't stop complaining about. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. And the other word, knowledge. Knowledge. Right? Knowledge. Right. knowledge. No, knowledge. exactly. Knowledge. knowledge. Thank you so much. Hey, there you are. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's give the chance for more people to participate. Let me see. And this one, Mr. Alexander, are you ready for practice? Yes, I love that one. Thank you. Let me see. Who is number two? Any volunteer to raise the hand? Thank you, Jacqueline. Alexander is number one. Jacqueline is number two. Any volunteer for number three? Any volunteer for number three. Thank you so much, Miss Daisy Stephanie, number three. And a volunteer to finish on number four on this one? Only one. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Miss Mariela, are you ready for practice, Mariela? Not yet, I believe. What about you, Luis Antonio? Yes, Miss. Yeah. All right, perfect. I need your collaboration for participation number four, the last one in the conversation. Is that okay? Yeah. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Alexander, you start. Jacqueline, Daisy, and Luis, we listen to you guys. Okay. This is washer I hired a month ago. Wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for next month. And one for cashier performance this month was not so good. Uh, some customer complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge. So we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that, and don't forget we have to evaluate the service after the training. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's correct. So that's the conversation about. Thank you. I just forgot one word, and that is, uh, I believe it's very useful to practice on this one, and it is this word. Let me help you on this one. The other in, in final ed. In this case, pronunciation of this word is promotive, promotive in this part, right? Let's practice, people. Repeat after me. Promotive. 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 Exactly. Promotive. All right. Thank you so much, people, and good job. Good job. Now, what is the conversation about, people, after practicing on this one? What is the conversation about? Let's see. Let's see, like, general comprehension. What is it about? Uh, for the uh, about the training opportunity, uh huh, and for uh, when well, start the the training for the next month, mm -hmm. and near a uh, different um person, for example, cashiers. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Now, to continue on this one, let's see how well you remember some information. There is some comprehension. What is the instruction for this exercise, people? Let's work together. Discuss. Discuss the following question. Exactly. Thank you so much. Question number one. Let's read together. Who is everybody? Who is asking for a promotion? Thank you. Number two, what did, what what did, did the customer complain about? about? Complain about. Thank you so much. What about number three? What, what is the training? Exactly. Number four. What's the what is the training? Exactly. Thank you so much. 
we have four questions on this exercise. I know you are ready for this, but I will give you one minute, one minute to look quickly on the conversation and try to discover the answers. In one minute, we respond this one. So let's do it individually at this point. Don't copy, just read and identify the info, please. Can you put the, the conversation, please? All right, why not? Let me see, let me go back. Oh, let me see. Let me transfer this one. I put the information in the book so you can see the conversation. It's the same conversation, actually. The dishwasher is a person. Uh, yes, that is a position, right? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Llévate esto si no me lo voy a terminar. Thirty <laughs> more seconds. All right, all right, thank you so much. I know you are more than ready to answer on this information and let's go for some answers. Thank you, thank you. Let's see, first question, what's the answer, people? The washer, the uh -huh. washer. All right, thank it's you so much. Washer. Exactly, that's correct. That is the person asking for a promotion. Question number two, what does it say? Or, or what's the answer, sorry? Waiting to wait for too long. All right, thank you so much, Miss Estrella. Thank you, thank you. Let me have more people participate and to express it. I, uh -huh. I think complete uh, the schedule. All right. Thank you, Liz. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see. Miss Brenda, what's your opinion for number two? Um, some customer having to wait for too long. All right, thank you so much. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. Exactly. They complained about having to wait for too long, right? They were not happy on that one. Thank you. And what about on number three? What's the answer for number three, people? The servers and cashiers. All right. Thank you. Thank you. In this case, Servers, uh, uh, as a first point, probably servers, but it's acceptable, I believe. Let me double check the conversation in this one. For the next one, and one for, oh uh, yeah, servers and cashiers, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And question number four, what are the steps they are going to take for the training? Teacher, tell me. Um, I remember that in another class, mm -hmm. you had the different about the dishes mm -hmm. and and dish no masculino y femenino. Ah, and that dishes. was that that was for a waiter and waitress. Uh -huh, waiter and, waiter and waitress. waitress. And exactly. server is in plural. I, uh, 
it is in plural, but server is universal. For example, I am a server for a boy and you are a lady and you are a server. The word server is universal for boys and for girls. There is no problem. It could be uh -huh. individual or plural, no problem. But when you say waiter, it's only for me. I cannot okay. tell you. It's hey, more my... specific. Yeah, exactly. They have like, let's say gender, right? Those are the only ones. Not many of them, but many jobs and occupations are universal. But some others have a specific words depending on, on if you are a boy or a girl. Servers is universal, no problem. Similar to doctor. She is a doctor, he is a doctor. Teacher, the same, no problem, right? But waiter and waitress, yes, they are different from boy for boys and girls. Servers mm -hmm. universal. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this this washer is universal. There is no problem, right? The person responsible to clean, to clean the dishes, right? So in that case, no problem for that. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, coming back to this one, what are the steps people they are going to take? And let's identify their skill and knowledge. Uh huh. Skill and so knowledge. We uh -huh. So we can include everything they need in the training. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else, people? There are like three steps, if I am not mistaken. Identify the server skills is one, include the server's needs in the training. And one more after the training, what are they going to do, people? Evaluate the result of the training. There you are. Thank you so much. So that is the info, the complete info about this one. Let me see. Let's read together, people. The first one, identify everyone. Identify, identify server, server skills. skills. The second one include include the servers in the training. In the training. Okay. In the training. And let me see. Do I have other one? And finally, evaluate. Evaluate the server evaluate after the training. The after the training. The, the training. Exactly. Thank you so much. That is pretty much what they want to do on this one. All right. So thank you. Thank you for that, uh, for your effort on this exercise. Now, let's check on this one. What practice do we have, people? Vocabulary. Vocabulary. Exactly, we have a practice on vocabulary. And on this one, let me explain what we do. I am going to share one link to you and you work individually on this session. Let me see. The link is already over the chat, over WhatsApp, and at this moment, it is also in the chat on this video conference. I explain to you quickly what you do and you work individually, all right? Do you see my, my, my browser at this moment? Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, all right. Okay. Let me explain to you. In this case, we have four letters, but they are in disorder. We move them to discover what the word is. What is the first letter in this one, people? Go. 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 All right. So you spell it G. After G, we need? O. 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 A. O. A L exactly. Thank you so much. All right. That is what you do. If you are using a computer, click on the word and move it to the position that you want. If you are working on a cell phone, you know, tap on the word and move it. At this moment, you work individually on your devices. There are nine expressions, six expressions, something easy, all right? Six expressions to you. Work and discover what the words are, please. All right? Let's do a nice job. Thank you. Thank you.
finished on the activity, people? Hello, hello. Not yet, please, sir. <laughs> no, teacher. Not yet. All right. No problem. Continue working. Continue working. That's it. Thank you. All right, all right, thank you so much. Now, people, let's work together. Probably you finished, I know. If not, don't worry, we get the feedback over here. The first vocabulary word was goal. What about the second one? Let, if you discover the word, tell me what it is, please. Feedback. Feedback. I think, exactly, thank you so much. Let's work on this. One quickly. Let's see. Feedback. All right. Thank you so much. Good one. Good one. Uh, what about on the third one? What is it? Budget. 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 Ah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. There we are. Good job. What about on word number four? This one. This was like a long one. But what is it? No. No. Knowledge. 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 And what Stop. about the other word? Stop. Ah, there we are. Thank you so much. Let's see. Knowledge. Exactly. Knowledge gap. There we are. What about number five? What is it about? Coaching. Coaching. Ah, thank you so much. Let's work on this one. Good job, coaching. And the last one. Tell me, tell me. What is that? Ah, 
I will explain to you later on because this is the first part of the activity. And if I tell you now, I am going to ruin the surprise. <laughs> and I don't want to ruin it yet. I will explain. Don't worry. But later on, later on, trust me. <laughs> All right. Then we have coaching. And the last one, it's a big one, but very important one. What is it about? Um... Uh, all right, let's see on this one. Let me see. Man, this is ah, there we are. Quality. Have you finished people on this one? Yeah. No. 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 Word. Yeah. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm giving, you the, I'm giving you the answers. Ah, come on. Notification. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I see you discovered the, the words anyway, right? So we have qualifications. Just double checking on this one. Congrats, congrats, people. If you have six expressions on this one. The first one, uh, let's have a pronunciation, a quick pronunciation practice. Number one, repeat after me. Go. 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 Next Go. one. Feedback. 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 Next Feedback. One. Budget. 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 Mm -hmm. Budget. Number Budget. four. Knowledge gap. Knowledge, Knowledge gap. gap. Knowledge gap. The next one. Coaching. 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 And the last one. What is it, people? Qualifications. Qualifications. That's correct. Good job. Just to answer on this one, means if you talk about a gap, it is at the distance between. No, no, come on, not this one. Okay. Not the, no, don't, don't worry, it's not that one. <laughs> I mean, it is a brand, but we are not talking about this one. If we talk about gap, take a look at this illustration. Let's consider this one. Let's see, open in a new tab, I believe. Oh, this is small, right? When you talk about a gap, it is a space between, between one part and other part. It could be something physical, as in this example. There is a space here between one part of, 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 of the ground and the other part. This is considered a gap because there is a space between something, all right? It, it, it could be about something, or it could be, as in the one in knowledge, that some part is missing, right? Something is missing between two different points of reference. That is the, the idea of a gap. Is it clear on this one, Brenda? Mm. So so. <laughs> so so. All right. Let me give you other phys uh, let me give you other quick example over something physical on this one. Let me see. Let me see if I can find uh, a different picture in this one. Uh, other example using an illustration as, as in this case, right? It is mm -hmm. the space between two objects. That is in simple words. If you see the, mm -hmm. this car and the other car, in this case, there is nothing, right? In this part, there is no other car. There is an empty space. In this case, that is considered a gap. The distance between one object and other object. That is what the person is talking, ab talking about, gap. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is talking about this information. All right. These vocabulary words were uh, the first practice on pronunciation because at this point, let's work on something else. I'll give you the chance at this moment to work in groups. And if you see, we have some instructions in this part. What is the instruction, people? Let's read the exercise. Match, everybody. Match, training, training, personal development, 
Main. To their meaning. Exactly. Check answers with the classmates. That's correct. So you have the information here. You have the vocabulary words we practice. This is These are the words we practice. And on the other part, you have some definitions in this part. So I will give you time to work in groups and Hello? try to match, as, he, as it says over there, the terms with the meanings. That's what I want you to do. So you have a nice conversation, read the definitions, read the meanings to your classmates, and then make decisions to match the information, right? And then when you return to the main court, to the main class, we are going to check as a, as a big group, right? But at this moment in uh, small groups. Are you ready for practice? Mm, no. Yes. No, yes, no. <laughs> Remember, work on vocabulary, a little bit. Work on vocabulary, read the definitions and try to match, but work as a group. Try to have a conversation, make, uh, express your ideas and then reach an agreement. And that's pretty much how we work. Uh, how much time do you think you need to work on this exercise? Like three minutes? Five minutes. Five minutes. Oh, it sounds, sounds nice, about nice. Is five minutes okay, people? No. Yes, teacher. Yes, all right. Let's okay. do it. Let's do it, all right? We begin at this moment, work together, and discover answers. So thank you so much. We begin.
We have finished, teacher. Yes. Is necessary to uh, share a screenshot in uh, WhatsApp? Uh, I can I can hear you. Sorry, I always mute myself. Sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. uh, it is not necessary. If you have it, yeah, why not? Right, Let, let's go for that. If you have it, yes, sure. We're going okay. to check as a complete class, so don't worry about that. Hmm? Thank you. Thank you so much. So, because you're finished, I believe the rest already finished. We are returned to the main room to discover your work and to check how you did. Thank you so much, okay. people. All right, all right. Thank you so much, people, for your time in the practice. I know you already finished and you did a nice job. So let's work as a complete class to discover some information. This is how we do. I read the vocabulary word and you, as a class, read the meaning, right? That is how we practice on this. Let's begin. What is goal, people? What is a goal? All of you, hello, hello. Let's work a together. Uh -huh. A desired desire result, 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 result or possible outcome. Possible outcome. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Let me see on this one. Yes, that's correct. Check on this one. Desired, desired. Everybody? Desired. Desire. Result. Result. Desire. Result. 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 Exactly. In this one, remember the letter U is different. We don't say result. Uh -uh. Result. 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 Hmm? Thank you so much. What about the next word, people? What is feedback? Help. 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 Helpful information. Or about the performance of All right. Thank you so much. Pronunciation of this one. Criticism. 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 All right. The final, the final pronunciation of many words that begin that finish in this one, right? Is some pronunciation like this one. Zum, zum, mm. criticism, zum. All right, exactly. Many words like like Finnish and this have that that pronunciation. That's correct. Let's see on this one, people. Let me see. Oh. Let me. All right, criticism. That's correct. The next one, people. What is budget? Budget. An irregular balance, irregular balance of what a person should know. An irregular balance of what a person should know. Mm -hmm. Any other version? Let me see. Let me see. Mr. Estimation of income and expenses. All right, all right, thank you, miss. Thank you for that alternative. Let me hear more people. 
What about you, Alexander? What is your version for the next, for that word, for budget? What is it? I think, I think an estimation of, of incoming and expenses. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, thank you so much. Check on this one, people. That's correct, mm -hmm. an estimation, right? An estimation of income and expenses, right? Do you know the meaning of income? No, teacher. All right. No. When you when you talk about income, it's the money you receive. For example, you receive a salary, you work in business and you sell something. Income is the money you receive from any place and from any source. All right. The money you receive. Or if you have family, for example, people have family in the USA and they send money, like the famous remesas, they receive money. That is income, the money that get, that they receive. That is the income and expenses, the money you have to invest, right? Or the money you, you spend on things, right? Income, money going in, expenses, money going out from you, right? So that's pretty much the information for income and expenses on this, all right? So doing great so far now so if we have a budget in that place what is a what is a knowledge gap <clears throat> what is knowledge gap people an irregular balance an irregular balance of what a person no. should know all right all right thank you thank you uh, let me hear more people with more alternatives what about on you, Miss Estrella? What do you think? What is knowledge gap? Mm, let me see. A uh, quality that makes someone mm -hmm. suitable for a particular job. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your version. Miss Mayra, what about you? What is knowledge gap? I think that knowledge gap is an irregular balance of what a person should know. Okay. Thank you so much for that participation and to all of you who contributed to this one. Let's discover, people. Oh, sorry. Man, wait, wait, wait. I messed up on this one. Give me a second. I just moved too much on my presentation. Let me see. No. Give me a second, boys and girls. I just need to go back on this one. All right. We were working on number number four, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. I'm back on my presentation. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. So we were working on number one, or it was already done. Number two, number three. Number four is this one, people. Knowledge gap. An irregular balance of what a person should know. Remember when we talk about gap is a space from one thing to the other. So we need, when we talk about a knowledge gap is that one. People should know, should, should know something, but there are some parts that probably they don't know. So that's why we call a knowledge gap is this one. The irregular balance of what a person should know, right? They don't, they don't manage the complete information of something, right? So that is a knowledge gap in this one. What about number five? What about coaching? What is it about? The process of, the process of, of the former of an employee. Exactly. That's correct, of improving the performance of an employee. So finally, right, last but not least, what is qualifications? 
quality makes someone suitable for a particular job. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Just double checking on this one. Su suitable. 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 Exactly. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. And that's number six. Congrats, people. That's the idea about qualification. All right. So that is what makes you uh, the right person. That is the meaning of suitable, to make you the right person for the particular job. You say, for example, A, they are looking for a, for a human resources in English and you have the abilities. You say, hey, right? you, I have the qualifications. I know about human resources and I know how to speak English. So I have the qualifications. I have the necessary skills or qualities for the position, right? So that is pretty much what we have on that point. Good job, people. And to finish on this exercise and for today's session, let me show you the book so we can move to that information. Let's work on page 34. That is what we're going to be working on. Page 34. We have some instructions for this exercise and I need your collaboration. Let me see. What are the instructions for this part, people? It says identifying. Uh -huh. Exactly. And in that process, what do we do, people? We label. Label the description of the process with the right heading. With the right heading, exactly. We have different, uh, in this case, we have different processes. Number one, and let's do a practice, is uh, repeat after me, people. Analyze the job. Analyze, analyze the, the job. job. The next one, identify personal current skills and knowledge. Identify, identify personal current skill and knowledge. knowledge. All right. Next one. Identify training solutions. Identify, identify training solutions. solutions. There you are. Next identify one. Evaluate performance. There we are. Evaluate performance after training. After training. And finally, we have decide. Decide skill and knowledge gaps. Knowledge gaps, exactly. Now, after checking on vocabulary, we are ready about this one. Just before you go, to, we we begin with the first with the last practice. Do you know the meaning of current? Current. Mm, no. I like right now. Exactly right. You can say at this moment, in the present, or right now. Exactly. Those are synonyms about current. All right. You don't say actually, right? That is the confusion, right? You say if you, you say actually, but no, right? No se confundan. Que recuerden que el actually, aunque suena muy parecido al español, no quiere decir actualmente. Okay. Eso mejor lo decimos con current. Actualmente. Okay. So that is the meaning of current. The, the the skills that people have at this point, right? Now, after getting on this information, I need your indiv individual collaboration to work on this one. There is a short description like this, and you are going to transfer the correct heading for this one. For example, number one, List of opportunities and areas of improvement when training is necessary. You read on this one and you say, hey, I believe this one is evaluate performance and training. So you put the, the heading here. Read the second one and okay. you, need, you need to understand what the information is about. And then you put the correct topic. Right? Okay. This number two is about desired skills and knowledge gaps. That is what I want you to do at this moment. For this activity, we will have three minutes. So let's work on this exercise and complete on your books or on your notebooks, please, if you have a paper over there where you are. I will make it a little bit smaller 
if you have your book, that is on page 34, just in case you want to see where the information is. finish thank you thank you one more minute and then we check as a class All right, all right, people. Thank you so much for your time in the practice. Thank you, thank you. At this point, we discover what the words are. What about on the first paragraph? What is the topic of that one? Identify training solutions. All right, thank you so much. What about for the rest? What is your opinion? What is number one? Decide skills and knowledge gaps. Knowledge gaps, all right. Thank you so much. What about the rest? Decides a skill and knowledge gap. All right, thank you so much. You agree, all right? Decide the skills and knowledge gaps. All right, this is a routine, this is an improvement. Decide if there is a gap between knowledge and skills every time and space where they may have. All right, thank you so much. I will go with that one. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I will just call it this one, right? Probably you have some information. What about the second one? Find the best way to provide training. What is what is that about? Identify yeah. training yeah. solutions. All right, thank you so much. The All best right. way to provide training short term. All right, thank you so much. Identify training solutions. There we are. What about number three? Ask staff members to use a checklist to evaluate their progress. What is it about? Evaluate performance after training. Okay, thank you so much. Yes. After training, thank you so much. What about number four? 
identify personal foreign skill and knowledge. All right, thank you, thank you. That's the blue one. Thank you. And the last one, discuss and describe the responsibility of the position and so on. Uh -huh. What is that? Analyze. Analyze, the job. Analyze right? Analyze, Analyze the job. Exactly. Analyze. Thank you so much, people. Good job on that one. If you have your information like this, congratulations. If you don't, don't worry. Make the necessary changes. Thank you so much, people. For your time in the practice, for your time in the class, I really appreciate that a lot. Thank you, thank you. Now, before we leave, people, I just need your collaboration on something. Uh, or I just want to remind you, it's it's better, right, in that way. I just want to remind you on the activity that we have already active. Do you remember the activity? Yeah. We have yeah. forum yes. number two, exactly. Some people already participated. Some people are still missing. But remember, access to the platform, go to forum number two. The instructions are here about what you have to do. The reference is in this table. And at the end, you participate with your comment here, similar to a social network. So you put your two sentences for every situation, and you participate. At this moment, I have Jacqueline. I have Alexander. I have Mariela, Stephanie, that have already participated. For the rest, don't forget about this activity. You have until Thursday, right? Thursday, August 31st. So please don't forget on this activity. Please, please, please. All right. Now, thank you. As I mentioned before, thank you so much for your time in the practice. It was really nice to have you here. And thank you for the effort to connect for the ones who have issues with the, the internet. So thank you so much, people. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Right. Good, night. good night. See you, see you. Right. Have a good night. See you, see you. Good night, teacher. Bye, mister. Take care.